It's asking why is cos zero equals one? So you can answer this using the trigonometric circle that they've provided here, or you can just simply graph the function, right? If I had a function like this, so, if this was, let's say, 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, we know that cos starts at 1 here, goes to pi over 2, heads to, this is negative 1 here, and then goes back up, right? So sorry about the bad curve here. And then back up to pi here. Something like this. And it goes back out. I'm just gonna draw. I can never go through that line. There we go. This is my very poor, poorly drawn cosine kind of graph here. And it says, why is cosine 0 equals 1? Well, the graph says so, right? Can cosine of 0 here equals 1? This is a graph of y equals cos x, right? Or you can say, or you can prove it using the, the unit circle as provided on the left here. And as you can see, they have a unit circle uh, with a radius of 1 here, and they drew a right triangle, right? So again, this is 0 here, or theta, you can say. Theta is this angle here. Um, you have cos theta of zero here is this point here, and this uh, uh, the y-axis would be our sine theta, right? So as you get closer and closer to zero, as you can see, this will equal one here because my radius here is equal equal equals to one. And then as I move up again, it's going to go to towards zero, and then it goes towards negative one, and then towards zero again, and then back to one here. So as I as I move my angle forward. Uh, as I move my angle towards 360 here, those are my answers here. So cos of zero would be simply just this angle here. And as you can see, this angle here, because it's my cosine theta axis here, is going to equal one here. So the solution here is correct. Good explanation.